this is a short clip just to explain uh, the continuity equation. Uh, the continuity equation is used in various amount fields in engineering, uh, thermodynamics, fluid dynamics, uh, gas turbine analysis, propeller analysis, etc. So here's a, just a quick uh, overview of what's going on. Let's take a space, um, you know, something that has this cross-sectional area, and let's assume it's one meter squared. And uh, let's pass a fluid, and for our purposes, let's just consider that the fluid is some air, and the air has a velocity of 10 meters per second. Therefore, after one second, the air will have passed through here and would have gone 10 meters. So the volume of air will be one cross-sectional area multiplied by the length, which is really the velocity. Uh, right. So if we look at the density, <coughs> well, density is defined as mass over volume. And I can rearrange that equation and say that the mass then is equal to the density times the volume. But we've already seen that the volume per second, okay, so in one second, the volume is going to be just one meter squared by the velocity, which is 10. So the volume per second will be area times the velocity. So therefore, I can say the mass of air per second, so the mass per second is the density multiplied by the area multiplied by velocity. And that's uh, simply what the continuity equation is. And that's expressed mathematically by m dot, so the mass flow, so the mass per second, is the density times the cross-section area times the velocity. Sometimes you'll see it written as density by the cross-section area by the velocity, where velocity is c, uh, as in here. Or the area might be expressed as s, so rho sc. ROSV. So it'll be one of these forms. So as an example, let's say we take a, a nozzle and we're going to pass some air through the nozzle. So the mass of air flowing through it well, is equal to density times this cross-sectional area times the velocity. The air coming out, well, the mass of the air doesn't change. Uh, so then this will be equal to rho times and the cross-section area here, and its velocity. So there's the air coming in. As we can see, the cross-section area here is much larger than the cross-section area here. And let's assume that there's no change in the density okay, of the air. Let's say that the density has remained constant. So if that remains constant, then this air, if the cross-section area reduces down here, then the velocity must increase. And just if we compare the two of them together, you can see for the same mass of air, the velocity out of the back of this nozzle has increased. Uh, that's simply what the continuity equation is. Thanks.